Do 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 do. Do 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 do. And we leave. There we go. Hello, hello, hello. Why am I streaming at 4,000 kilobits per second? Let's go for 8. There we go. Hello. Hello, my babies. Travis did it. Good evening, one and all. Get some coffee down, you damn right. Welcome, everyone. Hello, hello, hello. What up, what up, what up? Hi, Milkman. <laughs> oh, dear. Hello, mate. Right, let me just... Um, I'm going to... I'm going to sort out my notifications. I'm going to add my notifications back because I've just realised I still haven't added them. So, bear with me one moment. Uh, we need streaming tools, overlays. Uh, my overlays. Uh, YouTube overlay. Uh, copy URL. Right. One moment. Add. Browser. YouTube alerts. Okay, control and F that. There we go. Right, so I've got the YouTube alerts on that one. Uh, And hmm. Ah, I've got to log into Twitch now. Or rather I've got to log in with Twitch so as I can do it there as well. Right. Streaming tools. My overlays. Edit. Grab URL. There we go. And now I'm going to log back in with YouTube so I can still get my notifications. That's it. There we go. Cool. Right. So, add another browser. Twitch alert. Control and F. Just going to change the resolutions. There we go. Yeah. And now I can group them. Uh, alert. Right. So, mate, it takes me a minute. Control and F. Oi, give me my alerts. Copy. Paste. 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 
paste and paste there we go that's more like it right sorry about that everyone i forgot that i hadn't set my alerts back up so welcome one and all i hope you're all doing good hope you are all good another tension headache oh i feel that mate i feel that sorry dude did you get hold of the 91124KHP? What's that, mate? What is that? Uh, Super Beast, that's good. Love the content. Thank you, Kenton. I appreciate that. What camera you got? Do you mean these cams and that one? Uh, they are the ZV1. Sony ZV1, mate. Hey, Technics here. I haven't seen you for a while, mate. What happened to the other night's stream? My internet went down because I forgot to pay the bill. <laughs> I forgot to pay my internet. I'm not going to lie to you guys. I forgot to pay the internet bill. Um, yeah, completely my bad. Turns out I hadn't, pay I hadn't paid it for two months. So, whoops. <laughs> New PC up and running. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so, uh, not going to lie to you guys. That's the genuine reason. <laughs> um,. It is what it is. I paid it straight away as soon as I realised. But I owed like £120 on my internet. <laughs> I had to pay it there and then. Um, it was actually back up within like 40 minutes. Um, but it was just too late to stream by then. Yeah, it happens, yeah. I do it quite often, to be honest with you. I forget to pay the internet bill. Um, you know... It's not a priority bill, that's the thing. That's why I forget to pay it. So, it is what it is. New, uh, new little feature. Check this out. Boom. Oh, yeah. Got myself some sockets. Got myself a nice 15 volt source there. Plugs straight into a socket. I haven't wired up the Cat 6 yet. Or Cat 6A yet. Mainly because I haven't got any Cat 6A cable and I'm not wasting Cat 7 cable on Cat 6 sockets. Um, credit for all that. No, no, no. The Virgin Media don't do that. And plus, my Virgin Media is in a fake name. <laughs> <laughs> I'm blacklisted for Virgin Media from when I was 18. My Virgin Media is in a fake name. Random name I made up. Oh well. You turn on XMP. No, I'm not doing any kind of overclocking or anything like that, mate. Um. Yeah, not going to tell you what name it's in. <laughs> but it's in a fake name. Um. That was actually on recommendation from the Virgin Media salesman. And I've had it for six years. Look, genuinely, I've had the account for six years. I've always paid the bill, eventually. <laughs> if you get the phone bill, they'll send you an SMS, but what's the internet provider supposed to do? <laughs> yeah, yeah. The funny thing is, the fake name has actually got a real credit rating there. That's the hilarious thing. But, yeah. No, Virgin Media is not in my name. Hasn't been for a long time. Why did they ban you? Because I had Virgin Media when I went to prison. Um, because I was in prison, didn't pay the bill. And they blacklisted me. So, while well, you're wearing a jacket, isn't it warm up there? Uh, I'm actually not warm, to be honest. I'm quite chilly. Um, I'm quite chilly. So... Cheers, Rudge. Thank you, dude. I appreciate that. Uh, Roy, Rudge? Roy Hodge. Yeah, we'll call you Rudge. There you go. There's your name. That's your name. Change your birth certificate. <laughs> <laughs> hello to all the Chrissies, because there's too many to say hello to. <laughs> yeah, so I, when I went to prison, I had Virgin Media, and I got... Obviously went to prison, so... Yeah. So I ended up um, being blacklisted. Because I was in prison for over a year, didn't pay the bill. Because obviously I couldn't. But uh, it is what it is. So I had, when I got out, I got, I got Virgin Media in a fake name. Check your encoder settings. Go bollocks, there's nothing wrong with my encoder settings. I'm streaming at six, 8,000 kilobits per second, so I'll go swivel. Stupid um, thing. But yeah. Uh, 
I don't read Spanish. Is it Spanish or Argentinian? I don't know. Argentinian? Uh, I think that says hello from Argentina. <laughs> How much to serve is a PS4 Pro? Uh, I'll charge a flat fee of. Um, hey, Belo. Belo Delo became a member. Thank you. I appreciate that. Yeah, I charge a flat flat fee of thirty pound. Uh, I went inside for piracy. It, that, that's the genuine truth. I went inside for piracy. What happened last time with the live stream? Forgot to pay my internet bill. <laughs> I got cut off. <laughs> yeah, probably going to get a few of them questions tonight. But oh well. Uh, it is what it is. I, I forgot to pay the bill. I paid it straight away, and yeah, there you go. But right, anyway. Let's get a repair on. Let's just jump straight into it, shall we? Um, so, for anyone that's watching this on a video, this is a live stream. I do live stream every Monday and Friday. So today we're going to pretend it's a Monday and Friday because it's not a Monday and Friday. So, uh, yeah, it's actually Tuesday. I had a few things to do yesterday. Uh, all this morning rather so I couldn't stream last night <coughs> but but we're going to pretend it's a Monday we're going to pretend this is a Monday live stream and um, we are going to fix the PS5 so this apparently has got no power you captain of your own pirate ship pretty much so this has apparently got no power off I think I haven't looked at the customer's name for I think he, I think I know who it is. Uh, not know who it is. I think it's um, someone who contacted me through WhatsApp. I'm not 100 percent sure. Uh, we've got the good old single beep no power. So I'm going to mash the power button just to troll the person who keeps saying that I shouldn't mash the power button. Yeah, so it's a single beep, no power, and um, it's a single beep every 10 seconds or so. All right. Cheers, Peter. Thanks, dude. Bet you could get it for free. Nah. Nah. It's probably off my credit file by now, but nah. All righty then. So, we're going to have a look at this, see what we can do. As you might still got milk on. <laughs> I've actually live streamed since I filmed that video. When did I film that video? Let's have a look. Uh, OBS recordings, unedited videos. I actually named it. Um, I actually named it Xbox One S Milk in it. When did I film that? 21st of June, I filmed that one. That one needs deleting there because I've uploaded the video. Uh, this is a review that I'm doing on a multimeter tomorrow. And this one's a PS5 that trolled me. And that one's a NES repair that I haven't actually finished yet. Um, but yeah. And uh, yeah, so 20, the 21st of this month I recorded that. From where you get that from. Go, get what from? Hey, Kashran. Thank you, mate. Kashran became Cash a member. Kashran became a member. Thank you, dude. I appreciate that. Mucho gracias. Right. God damn it, that's the wrong screwdriver. I was fitting this earlier. Ha. <laughs> oh, I might as well take the torque bits out first then. Well, all righty then. Right. Um. So, actually, while I'm streaming, good name is gone. Are you watching on Twitch by any chance? Mr. Good name is gone. Are you available on Twitch at the moment, mate? Two second blue light. It's kind of like a blue light of death, yeah. And universal credit, so it depends on what benefits you get. Uh, what's that? I don't know. 
Um, oh, you sent somebody else. Did you know if you get a benefit, you can help get help for internet? We've got £25 towards it. Oh, I didn't know that. Um, fun things to do, just said that if you're on benefits, you can get help towards your internet. I didn't actually know that. Um, so if anyone's on benefits and they want help towards the internet, maybe look into it. Me, unfortunately, I am not eligible. ESA with a war pension. Uh, oh yeah, because you was in the... Was it the golf you was in, David? Phil, where's the jaw from? I bought it from eBay, mate. It's just a cheap head. Let's put my... thingies on. There we go. People on benefits get it so much easier than people who work. Oh, better not say that. That's a controversial topic. <laughs> That's a bit of a controversial topic. No, some people can't help being on benefits. I will say that. But I know people who are on benefits and they earn more than the... Well, I say earn. They get more than the average fucking living wage. More than the average living wage. I have to glue that gone. I've still got them, I just don't use them. They're really awkward to clean. A state of that mouse is horrible. Yeah. Oh, mate, that mouse is disgusting. It's covered in flux. That's the thing. I was talking to, um, a, a, well, say a viewer. He's actually a friend. Uh, but you guys all know him. Um, I was talking to him earlier on the phone. Um, because basically, I've had new multimeter probes and a new multimeter and stuff um, not in chat okay mate no worries uh, so yesterday I did a giveaway to channel supporters of uh, a multimeter which I'm reviewing well which I've reviewed for a video and I did a giveaway without anyone knowing I didn't want to announce it because I didn't want people joining up as a member just to try and enter a giveaway because well, number one, that would have been disappointing, and number two, I didn't want, I didn't want people to think that I was just doing the giveaway just to get extra supporters when that wasn't the case. I was just doing it because I wanted to give it away. Um, so I did a giveaway, and that's why I need to find. That's why I need to speak to Good Name is Gone because he was the winner. Um, but I was talking to Cyril about because i said to him basically because i've had new multimeter probes because i've given away the multimeter but i've kept a big set of probes that they sent me so i've kept these for myself because they sent me these for free but um i basically said to him he was like oh i need some new multimeter probes mine are knackered and i was like oh you can have these but i've got to clean them because i was covered in flux so i basically gave i said i said to see well you can have them but it was covered in flux You're going to want to take from me, I'm taking back. <laughs> yeah, we all know your stance, Phil. <laughs> we all know your stance on it, mate. <laughs> oh, dear. Yeah, I mean, I've got nothing against people on benefits. Nothing against it. I was on benefits for a long, long time. But, you know. There's, I, I do, I'm just saying, I know people who... Um, I know people who used to get more than I was earning working, and I was I was working silly hours. Look, I'm nothing against them. Absolutely nothing against them. What's up with this one? It's no peridan. No pearl, mate. Benefits are there in the UK. So if you're not in the UK, benefits are basically unemployment. Um, Except the UK give a lot more. <laughs> the UK government give a lot more than places like the US and stuff like that, I think. Lost £500, live on £1.71. £1.79 per day as a carer for wife. Jesus. And you've got Spina Bifida. Jesus. High filling all the crew. I meant that was high filling all the screw then. I don't know why. As, my, as almost always now, pair of yeah. Uh, 
Well, this looks like it's already been somewhere. But... Like, um... I've got... They've, they've marked all of the, um, screw locations, which I've got nothing against. But they could at least wash it off afterwards. This is going to be a Rev1 board, mate. By the look of it. Damn it, I dropped a screw. Do you use a static strap when you work on electronics? No, mate. Uh, ESD is not really... I mean, this mat here is connected directly to my power supply, but ESD these days, it's not really a, a major concern um, when it comes to the stuff I work on, like consoles. There's no real um, ESD-sensitive components in them. Not really. Um, so this mat here is connected to my power supply. This is a proper ESD mat. And I'm always touching something metal anyway. Mike Javazi. Hello. Andrew, hello. Not rubbing it around the carpet anyway. Yeah, I mean, I've got a carpet under me, but, you know. I showed the kids a trick with a MacBook the other day. Actually, there's a thing, Andrew. I need to speak to you about that MacBook, mate. Because I think I need to refund you. Because for some reason, since the last time the A1502 was used, it's no longer working. Which is really annoying. Like, really, really annoying. And just, just to bring everyone else up to speed, I bought a sold a MacBook to... Uh, Andrew Henderson who's in the chat and it was working last time I tested it and this time and now it's not <laughs> nearly done on these screws yeah so what do you all think of my new embedded sockets I've got one here which goes to the capture card, so to there, which I have bought a shorter cable for. I've bought a, hot, a 0.5 meter cable. And the other one goes to my monitor. <laughs> then I've got the Cat 6A, which is going to go to... Um, where it's an Ethernet jack on one side and crimps on the other side. And that, then that will go to a short Ethernet cable. And then there's the USB-C, which goes to my 15-volt 15, 15 socket. So I'm going to get another one for this side. Um, I'll get another one for this side, and I'll put uh, a couple of USB 3.0 ports on here. Um, I'll spur off my one of my Type-C ports from the PC. And one more HDMI for the microscope. I think that's the plan. Hello, 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 Charles. I love the video with the embedded readings on screen. Yeah, I'll set them up when I've um, disassembled this. Just watching the video you posted before the live. Nice, cheers, mate. I think the government have got some sort of internet scheme for to have internet in every home or something like that. If that's, it does ring a bell. Look, the, the scheme rings a bell. Say scheme, it makes it sound like a bad thing, doesn't it? Uh, no, the the internet scheme, the broadband scheme, the government does ring a bell. They, they were supposed to be injecting so many millions or so many billions into um, getting internet to every home by a certain year. I read something along them lines. Um, 
and we're getting 15 volt through that socket for the switches. Um, just through my normal U green socket, mate. Um, so on the other end of this is just uh, basically just a normal Type C port. Uh, so it's a male to female. Uh, so it's male on this side, female on the other side. Um, and then I've got that. No, sorry, it's female on this side and male on the um, the other side. So I've got that going to a USB Thunderbolt extension cable. Um, and then that goes to my normal socket that I normally use. So it's basically just the same as when the cable was here, except it's just a lot tidier being there. And I can plug whatever I want into just directly into there. What's wrong with it? Uh, this is um, no power. Um, but yeah, this entire socket for because these are modular, you can change these to whatever you want. So I chose on this one. I chose obviously two HDMI cables, a USB Type C cable, and a Cat 6 A cable. Um, so you can buy whatever you want for these. Um, they're really cheap on eBay. The Type C was the most expensive. I think all in it come to about thirty pound. That was for the faceplate. Uh, you need a deep back box if you're going to use it for a wall socket. Um, but because mine is just going straight through the table, I've just drilled, well, cut a hole in the table, screwed it either side, and then just cut a hole in the bottom. Um, so, yeah, but I think all in for the plate and the modular plates as well. The like the the different things. I think it was something like thirty some pound something like that um, but it just makes things a lot tidier like if you know what I mean like it's just um, I'd love to get some custom ones printed so I could get like a, so I could make like a multimeter thing um, going directly to the bench power supply you know like um, actually I could probably get a jack I could probably get some sort of a jack it doesn't matter what jack you use you could de you could definitely use um, something like a a quarter inch jack, like if you could get a quarter inch jack one. Like if you could get if I could get a quarter inch jack one, I could make something into a bench power supply cable. Um so I'll have to look into that. See if I can get one. Uh right, let's uh let's get this piece of crap off. Trying to make things organised and tidy. What happened to the little coder? He got kidnapped and abducted by aliens. The probes hurt as well. <laughs> no, it's just it's just a more like it's just better workflow. If I haven't got like, because I can just like well, whereas with these cables being here, there's not really a lot I can do. They're just there. Like, they're just free hanging there. Whereas here, I can just unplug it, move it out of the way. And then it's not in the not on the bench then. Um, you know, it just makes it a lot easier. It makes the workflow a lot smoother. The government also giving out hundred and fifty pounds to everyone for energy bills. Yeah, someone mentioned that last week. Don't worry about the probes; you get used to them after a while. <laughs> right. Okay, so this is the EDM010. I shouldn't have done this. I should have tested for voltage rails first. So that is my mistake. Um, so once you've taken it apart and you've got the got it down to the heatsink, just test for your voltages while it's still like that. So let me set up the multimeter on the screen and then you guys can see it. Port. Come on. And uh, now it decides to crash. Of course it does. Hmm. 
Now he decides to crash. Control, connect, com port, com three. Thank you. There we go. I would love to be able to change the font colour on this, but unfortunately I cannot. Uh, so, sorry about that everyone. Let's get the multimeter opened up. Uh, sorry, the power supply. There we go. No, nope. there we do not go, because apparently it cannot communicate with the port. Uh, let's see what COM port it's on. It's on COM4, so it should be working. Let's reboot it. No. No, it's not communicating. Why well, you not communicate? Settings. Well, it's on COM4. So it should be communicating. Unless I've accidentally unplugged it. Hey, there we go. Is it communicating? I don't know. Um, I don't think it is. There we go. Now it's communicating. Sorry about that, everyone. Hey, Ian. Ian Bates tipped two dollars. Do you know Ernie the Milkman? Lol. <laughs> yeah, it was me, Dad. What am I listening to in the background? Nothing. Sarah's got a phone on. Um, Sarah's watching some crap on YouTube, no doubt. Uh, yeah, so in stream went down the other day because I forgot to pay my internet bill. Uh, like I said, not going to lie to anyone. I accidentally forgot to pay it. Shit happens. Right then, let's get it on. So... Let's set this piece of shit back into manual control mode because I don't want to control it through the PC. I just want to get it to show up on screen. And then I am going to make my life a little bit easier by taking a crocodile clip. Oh, I love modular probes. They are fantastic. Okie doke. So there's that. And I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll get another set of probes. I'm going to check the power sequence on the bench power supply first and see what happens. So, I'm just going to grab another set of probes. Do 
do be do 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 well I will when I untangle the things there we go so I'm going to check the power sequence on the bench power supply first like I said just see what happens when we first apply power to it because that's going to give me a rough indication so set that to 12 volts and then if we take another clamp let's ground that and then let's inject 12 volts into it just as soon as I isolate it from the power supply itself let's not do that I'm really uh, unorganised today I really am unorganised yep there we go, isolate from there and let's check the power sequence, so 12 volts my current limit is uncapped it jumps up to 272 milliamps and then drops down so we should be expecting 300 milliamps I'm not I know that's not that much of a difference okay so actually if we take a look at that what seems to be happening there is rather than the console going through the startup power sequence it's jumping pretty much straight up to the uh, The 273 milliamps it shouldn't be doing that it should be jumping gradually not almost instantly so there is definitely a short on the board and it's going to be I would say a 5 volt short so it should jump up to like 50 milliamps 100 milliamps 150 milliamps 200 milliamps and then eventually get to 300 milliamps and then drop down to zero it's not doing that it is not doing that so that means we have a short so let's find the short shall we all right it's multimeter time let me zoom in So I can probe stuff and so you can see. Uh, I'm in diode mode, that is no good for me. I need DC volts. We have five volts there. Let me change the speed, that's on too low. Let's go for high speed, there we go. 3.3 volts, okay. Five volts, okay. Conic JP, hello. Three point three. Five. 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 Two volts. Um, don't 
believe they're meant to activate down there until the console turns on. I don't think they are. Uh, are we going to get 1.4 volts? That was too quick. No, so the RAM's not turning on. So I'm testing the RAM on these caps here. Uh, that one's actually ground. But the RAM isn't turning on. All right. 12 volt there. By any chance it's a PS5. <laughs> Thank you, Dustin. I appreciate that, mate. My middle name is Philip. <laughs> Welcome, mate. Two Philips don't make a right. Uh, it's meant to give me 5 volts. I think that is going to activate. No, it's not. So it's not activating 5 volt there. Twelve volts there, and then we've obviously got twelve volts here. Okay, right. So we're missing one point five volts. Actually, let's check for let's check for one point one volts. See if that activates upon boot up. Well, if I plugged it in, that would be the case. Okay, that does enable 1.1 volts on the safe bridge. Could still have a safe bridge issue, but 1.1 volts is enabling. So technically the RAM should enable, but it's not. Or at least it doesn't appear to be. Unless it's just happening too quick and then shutting straight back down. So what appears to be happening is the console is attempting to turn on and then it's temporarily putting the power supply into protection mode that's what appears to be going on oh dude my my. super shattered 50 dollars started working with hot air station yesterday burned my hand slightly and i blame you cause i can first of all you're a legend Thank you. And then, second of all, you burnt your hand, but then you pay me compensation? I like the sound of that. <laughs> now, I hope you're okay, mate. Uh, genuinely, thank you. Uh, I really do appreciate it. Um, yeah, hope you're okay, dude. It's a fucked up world. <laughs> it is indeed, mate. It is indeed. Oh, dear. Thank you, mate. I do hope your hand's okay, though. Uh, right, let's go... into continuity mode. Just busting your balls. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, cheers, mate. I appreciate the, uh, the download, buddy. Uh, right, where did I put my anal probe? I mean, my probe. <laughs> there it is. Plug that back in there. I was in there messing with that console. Um, someone else has been in here, but I don't think any work's been attempted. Drapuil just subscribed on Twitch. Thank you, Matt. I appreciate you sub subscribing. Love you, Huma. Huma? Huma. <laughs> Cheers, mate. Cheers, dude. How do you keep the liquid metal in place? Uh, this foam keeps it in place, mate. <coughs> right, let's go... Diode mode. Okay, so... That's going to give me a nice, fast reading. Uh, let's go under the scope, actually. Probably easier. 
probably easier to see. Right, so get it into focus for me, then get it into focus for you. There you go. Cool. Right, so, dial mode, red probe on ground. Let's check the caps around the encoder. Hmm, I don't know if that's a bit low. Uh, it could be correct if they're all reading that. Uh, so I think this is some sort of input line, which might explain why it's giving me a high reading. That's a okay. That's a ground. Um, yeah. So I think these. The caps on the edge give me a higher reading than the middle caps, so I think that's normal. Alright, so that's all reading fine. I think they're actually 1.8 volt lines on these middle ones. So, should be all good. Right, let's check the differential pairs on the Ethernet port. Think, think that's reading fine. We only need to check one side of this. Um, inductor pack or filter pack whatever it is uh, yep they're all reading okay right so they're all reading fine so basically I'm just scanning for anywhere that doesn't look quite right Another 5 volt to 3.3 volt reg there. That's fine. Let's check around the Wimbon chip. It appears fine. That's ground. Okay, the wind bottom chip seems fine. Is that the IC fault? Uh, I don't know yet, mate. Not sure yet. I'm sure we'll get to the bottom of it, though. Don't know what rail that that chip is on. Uh, that cap is on. 0.25 seems seems like it would be a weird short. 
Uh, it's a 3.3 volt line by the look of it. Is this chip anything to go by? Not finding much so far. What's on the bottom of that IC? It's going to be thermal paste, mate. Just um, that viscous paste that's all over the some of the RAM chips and stuff. Nothing to worry about that. Nothing to worry about. Fuse is good. A little bit of a scratch there, these probes are brand new. Very unlikely there is going to be anything on this circuit because this is the disk drive circuit, but you know, we can check. Hmm, that's open. Oh, the fuse is good. Unless that only activates when the disk drives um, you being used, I don't know. Bit strange. Wait, minus what? I was gonna say. I was going to say, what are you doing to me? Right. Um, yeah, I'm not finding much of anything at the minute. one of the legs move um nah it wouldn't have moved no um probably just a trick of the light uh, there'd be no reason for that chip to be loose to be honest look at the amount of heat that these chips take like Look at some of these chips. Like I see these on near enough every PlayStation, like or near enough every PS5. Can you see these here? Like these these chips here that look slightly burnt, and then you've got inductors what look slightly burnt, and it's like this on every single PlayStation. These things just get so friggin' hot, it's unreal. And this is why they're failing. This is why they fail. Because they just run so friggin' hot. It's absolutely unreal. Just got my son, son Finley into your YouTube. He's loving your, loving your content. Thank you, mate, and welcome, Finley. Hello. I appreciate that. That's awesome to hear, mate. I think it's spec for 105. It is, but I mean, like you can run it like you can run a PC at 90 degrees Celsius all day long, but it's not going to do anything good for it. Like I mean, like it's not even just one chip. It's it's pretty much every one of them. Like you look at the encoder. I don't know if anyone noticed the HDMI encoder, but that was the same, and it's the same on every single frigging console. Like they just all look like they could just wearing down with heat so Sony have made a massive mistake on these consoles with the amount of heat these things generate it's unreal so what are you doing right now um, well I'm hunting for short but I'm not finding any um, I didn't check the Wi-Fi area 
Yeah, Sony have made a huge mistake by letting these run so hot. Hey, Steve. And then no one cleans the fans about it. So, yeah, pretty much. Hot the move to an external power brick with the PS5 Slim. They probably will. They probably will. Um, yeah, I would say so. Um... Yeah, stuff made here built the slim. Yeah, he did a really good job. <coughs> yeah, I don't know. Unfortunately, I just don't know. Um, like even these inductors, like they just look like they're just wearing down with heat. It's absolutely ridiculous. Hmm. Affecting the boarding components, yeah. Is the HDMI port okay? Yeah. So all the ports are checking out okay. Um I'm just not finding anything not finding anything to be honest Can't even see them probes, uh, them test points. Let's just look on the scope. Rabbit hole board, yeah, but you know we like rabbit hole boards here. Yeah. Why is that open line? That's pin number one. Hey, I see me rolling. AC underscore me underscore row 11 and just subscribed on Twitch. Thank you, mate. I appreciate that. AC me rolling. Subscribing. Gonna catch me subbing on Twitch today. Do you think the PS5 runs hotter than a gaming laptop? Oh, yeah. Um, they need a better cooling solution for this. Um, yeah, honestly, ugh, I just don't know. I'm sorry. But I just don't know. Again. And they see me rolling, and they hate it. Trying to catch me Twitch Prime in today. Trying to catch me Twitch Prime in today. Testing the big caps. I 
think that one's meant to show up as short on that side. It looks like an inductor, but it's not. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know. I'm not sure. So I'm going to sit here pondering. For the next five minutes while I have a cigarette. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to sit here pondering for the next five minutes while I have a smoke. Yep. That sounds like a plan. Any ideas, anyone? Anyone for any ideas? Chris Farrell, hello. Have a coffee? Nah, I'll be alright for a bit. I do have a bit of neck cramp though, that's why I've come from under the scope. Any shorts near Ethernet? No. Sam, how's it going, mate? Kill it with fire? Can't, mate. It's a customer. I wish I could. I wish I could. Right. Voltage injection. But where though? That's the thing. Where would you inj inject voltage? Reball. No. Reball of what? Depends what. Send it back to them to get an Xbox. <laughs> like here's the thing with voltage injection. Like yes, I could inject voltage. I could, you know, I could, um, I could do like one volt on each line. But where do you inject voltage? If you can't, if you're not finding any shorts, it's not going to show up with voltage injection. Beginning of the valve for the ram. Nah, that's too dangerous. Injecting voltage into rail into ram is risky. Any heat given? No. So I'm just turning my phone on so I can see if the. Because uh, I'm almost sure that this customer got in touch on WhatsApp. Let me just, I'm just going to link, well, I'm just going to match up that name with uh, the phone number on WhatsApp. I'm pretty sure I know, uh, I'm pretty sure I was talking to this customer on WhatsApp, but I'm going to double check. Uh, repair orders. No, that's not the one. It's not the same one. Okay. Uh, well, I mean, it could be. That's a landline on the system. Uh, no, it can't be that one because I'm speaking to. I haven't sent him my address. Oops. Um, right, yeah, I mean. No, it's not even a one second blue light. It's no blue light. Uh, see, a no blue light would normally indicate um, a shorted 5 volt rail, but. Well, either a shorted 5 volt rail or a shorted um, encoder. Unfortunately, that all seems to be checking out fine. 
Actually, I didn't check the caps around here on the back of the encoder. Let's have a look at them quickly. Let's just check some of these caps and diodes around here. One of the round things by that thermal pad. Um, round things. Uh, I'm not sure what you mean. Where do you mean? Yeah, so the encoder is giving me no reason to suspect that it's bad. Uh, I think safe bridge myself. Mm, that's giving me no reason either. Uh, look, that's giving me no no reason to suspect it's bad. Let's just check the data lines on the encoder. Uh, well, on the HDMI port. Point seven eight seven. So I'm expecting to see the same readings on all of these four differential pairs. Well, the fourth one's going to be a little bit different. Yeah, so a tiny bit lower, not by much. Yeah, so even the differential pairs are not giving me any real reason to think that the uh, encoders bad Just checking for continuity across these nope yeah no reason at all to think that the encoders bad to test the PSU. I didn't, but it's not appearing to be a PSU fault. I could um, I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure I didn't check, um, what do you call it, uh, pretty sure I didn't check or didn't try turning it on with the bench supply, I don't know, but it's very unlikely that that's going to make any difference. Because the indication is that there's a, a short on the board according to the bench supply. Yeah, so it goes up to 270 milliamps and then 
just shuts off right I do not want this to plug into the power supply uh, yeah the power supply I don't want to back feed into the PSU So it's doing exactly the same when I turn it on as it's doing on the uh, what do you call it as it's doing when it's doing the first boot sequence. Damn it, will you stop falling? Nah, it's not going to show off any sign of heat. I don't know where my thermal camera's gone anyway. The only voltage rail I appear to be missing is the 1.4 volt rail when I turn it on. Um, one that appears missing, but yeah. The thing is, because we don't, we don't have um, schematics, we don't really know what the boot sequence is meant to be. See, that RAM is just not turning on. Look, there's just no way that that RAM is turning on. I mean, I could inject 1.5 volts into it for RAM. There is an option. Voltage 1.4. Let's go 1.4. There you go. Let's go 1.41 1 because it's slightly out. Um, Wow, 600 milliamps. It's a RAM MOSFET. There will be, but we don't know where it is. 600 milliamps is a lot. Like that's a lot for RAM that's not turned on. Right, when I'm injecting voltage into that RAM line there, am I getting... Yeah, so when I'm injecting voltage into that one line, it is passing through to all the rest. I 
I need my PS5 fixed. I sent an email with no response. What did you send it to, mate? Uh, the new PC rig's awesome, mate, yeah. Yeah, so 638 milliamps is pretty high. Hmm. Got hit by lightning, I had no surge protector. Um, maybe email phildanks at outlook.com, mate, if, it's, if I'm not getting the email. Uh, oh shit, hang on, what the hell? I've just posted that in chat. How much RAM do they even have? I think it's 8 gig, isn't it? Um, I don't think it's a RAM problem. But 640 milliamps, uh, no problem, uh, Verix. Community poker game. Um, what do you mean? What happened the other night? Uh, oh, I forgot to pay my internet bill. <laughs> yeah, so that's an awful lot for RAM that's not active, to be honest. Need to keep all my data if possible. Uh, if it can be fixed, you wouldn't lose your data, or you shouldn't lose your data as long as there's no SSD corruption. Um, if it's not, if it's not fixable, there wouldn't be any way to get the data off. Unfortunately, all my videos are on there and gone at the mini. I mean, I can do my best, mate. Um, I can definitely do my best. But I, I wouldn't make any promises because not all of them are fixable. I mean, like this one right now, I'm not able to figure it out. You need to track back the voltage line for the RAM. I know, mate, yeah. Um, what I'm thinking at the minute, because I don't know where, where the 1.4 volt rail is generated from. Um, I mean, the only way to really figure that out is, I suppose, is to hunt around while I'm injecting 1.4 volts and see if I can track it. So I inject 1.4 volts with the bench supply. And then just scan around, right? Um, hmm, can I do, uh, I'm just trying to think how I can do this, I'm thinking, uh, no, we don't have board views, no, I'm thinking I can do this quickly. Hey, Civil. Phil swears by the fake Addy tips. Oh, I do swear by the fake Addy tips, yeah. They're not even fake, they're T12 tips. I mean, when we're having a community poker night or something. Uh, I don't know because the laws in the UK are changing on um, gambling, uh, streaming and gambling. Is it possible that it's within the pair of rails on the right side beneath the thermal compound? It's possible, yeah. Um, I mean, it's possible. It's possible that it's one of these things here. Um, like one of these chips that are under here. But, yeah, I mean. I'm not finding any signs of heat on that on the other side of the board, so ideally I need to be checking this side of the board. How 
are we doing? Getting beaten at the minute, mate. Anyway, to fix a uh, banned PS5? No, unfortunately not. Not without not without phoning Sony. Um, they might unblock it, but they won't. It's not very likely. It's not very likely that Sony are going to unblock it. Unfortunately, um, they don't. They very rarely unblock a banned PlayStation. It's, which is a sad reality. Uh, right, let me go into continuity mode a second. I just want to see if I can find this 1.4 volt line on this side of the board anywhere. Somewhere I can... It's going to be difficult though, that's the problem. Somewhere I can try and trace back. It's going to be tricky. Got it. Oh, I'm gone. Oh no, it's a 32 ohm. It's a 32 ohm short, which means he's going to show up in as uh, beeping. Let's go diode mode. No, oh, I don't want the beep on. Let me turn the beep off. Uh, it's not useless, you can play offline games, but... I'm just trying to think where roughly where this will be. It's going to be here somewhere, isn't it? It's going to be around there somewhere. Very unlikely that they will unban it. That's dead short. Yeah, I think it's that one. I think it's that trace, that trace there. From what I can tell. Um, all right. Let me. Uh, right, I want to inject the one point four volts into that line, and then test and make sure I get one point four volts. On here, on the other side, um, again, going to be difficult. Data line show up is low impedance. Yeah, uh, they do. This isn't a data line. This is a power rail. Um, but it's a ramp power rail, it's low impedance anyway. You are correct. Um, so there is a cap on the ram which... Um, damn it. Yeah, there's a cap on the ram which... Um, damn it, I'm not even in fucking voltage mode. There's a cap on the ram which carries the 1.4 volt line. So I'm just testing on this side to see if I get 1.4 volts here. Interesting. Oh, there it is. Yeah, okay. So I am getting 1.4 volts there, look. As you can see on the screen. On that side of the board. Does it can't get blocked as well? As far as I'm aware, yes. So, I now know where the 1.4 volt line is on this side of the board. So I can inject from this side and then feel around for heat. Let me get rid of this shitty thermal pad because I absolutely hate these things. Uh, I will put it back, but for now, let me just get rid of it. Ah, oh, damn it! I hate them, man. 
So annoying. Get off. Uh, I'll leave it at that. Yeah, so I know where the 1.4 volt line is on this side now, which is what I was aiming to do. That little bit of liquid metal, I think, was me catching it with my finger. Now I can feel for heat spots around here. So we've got 400 milliamps, which is actually lower than it was just. Could try telling them you bought it in good faith. You could, yeah. Hmm. Yeah, so I'm not finding any hot spots. So I'm gonna hunt around I'm gonna hunt around and see if I can pick up this one point four volt line. Interesting, 0.5 volts on this chip here. So the aim here is to inject voltage into the RAM and then when I find whatever is responsible for the RAM then I should pick up 1.4 volts at that point. Hmm. Point nine eight six is that it? That was rather close to one point four volts. No point nine eight six volts here. Um, fuck you, Mofo. Point nine nine seven. I've got a feeling it's something here. Like one of these chips here is what pairs the RAM. Because I'm picking up. I'm picking up little bits of voltage on this area. Do 
but not quite the 1.4 volts. So is it being pulled down somewhere? That's the thing. New merch, fuck you, Malfoy. <laughs> Apparently, I've got 10 volts running through my body. Hmm. So there, I'm picking up 0 0.1 volt. So the problem is we can't see the traces either because they get buried. I mean, I'm picking up 0 0.9 volts DC around here. Let me pop under the scope. I want my coffee cold to cook now. Damn it, why is it out of focus for me? Ah! See, so I've got 0 0.5 volt there. Something don't seem right in this area. But something just don't seem right. I don't know why, but it just don't feel right to me. Sadovsky, welcome. Um, yeah, something seems odd. I should be picking up 1.4 volts somewhere around here. And I'm only picking up 0.99. Damn it. No, I'm not. That's a charged cap. Yeah, it's charging a capacitor somewhere around there. So I'm, I'm in the wrong area. <coughs> I am in the wrong area. Um. After bed, which will stay a bit longer. No worries, mate. What does it mean to say if you give the regular 12 volt to the incoming connectors? Um, not a lot, mate. It basically it bumps up to 260 milliamps and then shuts off. Um, like the power supply, the board is shutting something down.
Oh, hello. Hello. Here, somewhere here is responsible for the RAM. So in case you're wondering, I'm injecting here on this test pad. And I've just picked it up there. So this is what I mean. I should be picking up voltage. Like when I'm injecting voltage into a very specific rail, whatever is responsible for that rail is where I should pick up voltage. So... Realistically, we should get the same 1.4 there, yep, yeah, and then that goes into there. So we got, so this is going to be, is this going to be the drain? Uh, so I'm assuming it comes in through this way. Whatever it comes in as, it comes in through this way. So I don't know how these MOSFETs work. Um, well the thing is now he's finding... Finding the source, like the, the first part, like the start of the rail. I need to find the first start of the rail. Thank you, Missy Moo. I appreciate that. So I think it's just going to be a case of maybe Googling some chips. Um, is there anything on the other side around here? I think it might be actually this chip here what might be responsible for it. Um, so just here. So, let me see if I get 1.4 volts around this side. Uh, this is awkward, man. Like, super awkward. So, uh, injecting, injecting, injecting. Okay, so we get that 0 0.9 volts. So that's the caps that it's charging up, by the look of it. Yeah, it looks like it is coming from here. Hmm. Safe, thank you, mate. Safey Zero just resubscribed for three months. Hey Phil, how are you? Yeah, resub. I'm good, thanks, mate. How are you? Can't see where you are. I am down by the, the. Well, this is a 12 volt rail on the bottom of the board, just below the RAM. Um. Huh. 2.4 volts on there now. Okay, so that's going to be the caps charging. That is. Um. My top if my ground probe didn't just pop off. That's annoying.
No, that can't be. Take the focus for me as well, so I'll keep bloody sleeping. Damn it! Daddy? Right. Let's see if we can identify some chips because uh, nah, it's not getting warm, mate. Nothing's getting warm. But it would appear as though the RAM isn't being told to turn on. Uh, this looks like some sort of MOSFET, I think. Hmm. I don't think it's going to be that cheap. I think, if anything, it's going to be something on this side. Um, so the problem is I don't know how these MOSFETs work. Let's see if I can identify this one. This one might be a bit easier. 700 BNL. So I think I need to just identify some chips and figure out what they are. data sheet yeah not seeing that one I don't know. See, these are not really short. Like, nothing here is showing up as short. This is the problem. Nothing here is showing up as short, but it's definitely not activating that 1.8 volt, that 1.4 volt line. So, I'm thinking either the main power management IC or maybe the um, safe bridge. XDPE one four two eight six A Infineon Technologies Power Management I C uh, Switching Voltage Reg Uh, give me a data sheet, dickhead. Slavey Sadovsky tip two dollars and fifty two cents. Great job what you do, D. I hope you help fix my Xbox Series ten. I open ticket on your website. Smile. Thank you, mate. Um, yeah, if you send it in, I'll I'll definitely do my best on it, mate. I appreciate that. Um, right, so this is um, 
this is a power management IC. Uh, I'm looking for a data sheet. Uh, ah, there it is. Right, give me my desktop. There we go. Yeah, just uh, just give me the data sheet. I don't care about terms. You can have a terms and condition. Oh, for God's sake. Of course it can't be found. You know why? Sony. Sony. The blah 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 is a digital dual veil eight phase controller that uh, provides power for Intel VR13. Blah 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 blah. And high end. Wait, this isn't the right one. Oi! This ain't the... no, you're not the right one. No. What is it? No, it's not. What are you doing to me? Get lost. It's not the right one. Hmm. Of course there's no data sheet. Of course there's no data sheet. It is a PMIC. Alright, let me get some dialogue readings of this chip. See if I see anything unusual. It's not unusual to be loved by anyone And it's not unusual to have fun with anyone Actually I could I could do the same again, just inject voltage and hunt for that 1.4 volt line and see if that's responsible for it um, I don't know why I'm focusing so much on the 1.4 volt line, it's just that the RAM is just definitely not turning on so whether that's because there's another power rail which isn't turning on before it, I don't know. I know the APU is receiving power, or it's getting 1.1 volts. But uh, other than that, I'm not entirely sure. Okay, so let's probe around here once I get the thing in focus. So I'm just looking to see if I can pick up a 1.4 volt line here. Actually, let me just test to make sure I'm actually getting... Yeah, okay. Damn it. Well, I don't know if this is going to be responsible for 
I'm hunting and I'm not finding it. I'm not seeing 1.4 volts anywhere here. And of course there's no data sheets because why would there be? Yep, not be that's not responsible for 1.4 volts. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. That's not responsible for 1.4 volts at all. So Uh, or at least if it is, it's not getting to that point. So, yeah, I don't know. Huh. Continue to beep it on. Oh, never mind. I thought I found a blonde fuse then. He was coming up overload on one side and giving me a dial reading on the other. Uh, resistance reading on the other, but evidently not. Uh, I actually don't know where this one goes. I really don't. I'm sorry. Why did the draw dro drop from 600 to 400? Uh, resistance changes because of um, internal temperatures. Most likely. <coughs> oh, at least your voltage injection is not reaching the chip. Yeah, exactly, mate. I think I found what you want. Uh, what's that, mate? Uh... Yeah. I don't know. I'm sorry. I think I've got to give up on this one for now. Um... So I don't know what's responsible for generating 1.4 volts. Um, mm. Yeah, sorry. All I know is that 1.4 volts should be generated and it's not. So it should be generated when this console, console turns on. And it is not generating 1.4, which means that something before it isn't turning on or the 1.4 volt line is has a short has a fault on it of some sort but I don't know I have failed you all again so let's regroup let's go and grab a cup of coffee and let's move on. Change BIOS. Um, no, it's, it's not likely going to. I mean, I can try replacing the BIOS chip, but it's not likely going to fix it. It's not likely going to fix it. Unfortunately, right. Where did that one go? I think it went there. 
You reckon these blue light consoles could be dead APU? I don't know. Um, see, I haven't got a stencil to reboard them or anything like that, so I don't actually know. Right. Do you not use free spray? I don't trust free spray. But free spray is just the same as vaulted injection. It's it's only going to show up anything if um, if there's a heat signature. And there's no heat signatures here. Um, don't be too hard on yourself. I fucked up a brand new screen. Ouch. Yeah. I'm going to give up on this one for now. I'm going to work on something else because I just don't know. <laughs> that's, that's the best way to do it. Uh, that's the best thing to say. I just don't know what the fuck, what the problem is. So I'll give up for now. I'll give it another try another time. And work on something else. I mean, I've got a few days with it. Oh, it only come in this morning. It literally only come in this morning. So seventy quid down the drain. Ouch. Yeah, that's a bit rough, dude. Send you the link. Um, Twitch won't let you send a link, mate. You'd have to find some way to botch it. Do you mean for that data sheet? But I don't think it's responsible for the 1.4 volt line, to be honest. Um, I don't know. I've got a feeling... I've got a feeling it's not the 1.4 volt line that's at fault. Um, I think the reason it's generating such a high current draw is because it's actually powering the RAM. Like, it's turning the RAM on, but... I think something else, like the SSD or something, is not turning on um, before it... But again, no fucking schematics. Remember for three months, George. How do, dude? How do, do, dude? How do, 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 do? I think it's not from the diagram, but I thought it might help. Uh, I mean, if you want to send it on Discord, mate, you can um, you can join the Discord. I mean, either way, it's all it'll help at some point with one console. So I do appreciate that. I'm not using a the thermal. Injecting voltage work in this situation. No, it's not actually generating any heat. I've, I've searched everywhere. My fingers are pretty sensitive to heat. Um, and I'm not finding any heat signatures at all, sadly. And I have scanned pretty much everywhere. All right, let me just stop that recording. And start again. Because it's going to be another console. Discord already will drop a link in there. No worries, mate. I appreciate that. Um, it'll come in handy at some point with one console, I'm sure. Data sheets and stuff like that, I always like to try and archive if I can. So I've got them. If I'm actively working on that device, then the data sheets are handy. Even just for the pinout diagrams. You can use a good board, but I haven't got one to hand at the minute. Um, see, this is what this is what I need to do. I need to map out every single resistor. But the problem is that's still not really going to help with fault finding in an efficient timeline uh, or an efficient time frame because you know you can't realistically go through every single resistor on the board just to find a, a fault. But it's it's realistically impossible or realistically unrealistic. Whatever you want to call it. Um, realistically, you need to know common common failure points and test there. Sending out that sending out that thermal cam soon. I'm a lazy sack. Nice, awesome, man. Thank you, dude. You're all good. I'm supposed to be sending Steve be a power supply. I still haven't sent that. <laughs> Didn't bother get, giving it when the when I got the email to say it's in. I don't fucking blame you, mate. To be honest. Right, it's time to go and grab a cup of coffee, guys. So go and grab a cup of coffee and then come back. But leave the stream open because it makes me look more popular. Ha. Um. <laughs> 
But yeah, it's a bit, bit annoying when I can't find them faults. But it is what it is. I'm going to move on to something else. Can't fix it if you don't send it. I know, I keep forgetting. I keep forgetting. I know. Uh, this is going to be a donated console. Um, so this was gifted to me by CG. CG is a legend. Um, but we're going to have a look and see if we can fix it. As soon as I've had a cup of coffee. Or as soon as I've grabbed a cup of coffee, rather. It's a 1200, mate, yes. Anyone know, does GameCube have a pair of supply internally? I don't know. Have you got any PS4s for sale? At the minute, no. Um, maybe after this live stream, I might. Uh, depends if I can fix this one or the, one, the other one that I've got down the right side of me. What do you think about job lots off eBay? Um, I've never really gone for many job lots to be honest. I'll buy a working PS5 to give everyone numbers if you want. You'd be crazy. <laughs> But if you want to get test voltages, um, by all means, we'll take them and we'll start logging them down. Um, I have got a board which does power on. I need to put a safe bridge back on it, so don't waste your money and I'll put a safe bridge back on it. I'll have to PS4 if you fix them. Okay, cool. Good night, Yasm. Thank you for hanging out, mate. I appreciate it. In the sake of R and D, yeah, that is true. But I did notice you hadn't sent it. Yeah, I'll keep. I'll keep forgetting. I'm absolutely terrible. I'd like to see a GameCube repair. Um, I have got a GameCube, but I need to get parts for them. Uh, right, let me go and grab a coffee, guys. Um, I'll be back in a minute.
Right then. Okay, okay. Right. Oh, I am back. Hello, everyone. <coughs> Welcome, you big bad sexy wanker. <laughs> Right, okay, so, let me just put my smoke away. Right, I will turn off my instruments. Right, here we go. So, this PlayStation 4 was gifted to me by the legend that is CG. CG is from Germany and he sends me a lot of consoles, <laughs> an awful lot of consoles. He's an absolute legend, honestly. But he sent me this one along with a few others and uh, I have no idea what's wrong with it. It says on the little note, uh, read timer okay, HDMI, does that, is that, does that say port? I don't know. Uh, is that meant to say port in German? I don't know. But yeah, that's all that it came with, so I have absolutely no idea what's wrong with it. And I asked him earlier, and he said he doesn't know either, which is... Uh, Pretty fun. This is a 1200 series PlayStation 4. Uh, actually, let's find out why this is bulging before I plug it in, shall we? Uh, oh, no, it's not bulging. The case is broke. Okay. All right, that's fine. Never mind. So, let's figure this out. Bush equals port. Okay, cool, mate. Cheers. I want to fill some strawberry flavored condoms. Yeah, and I used them with you. <laughs> right, well that looks like the disk drive button doesn't work. Have a PS4 have a PS5 that takes four or five attempts to pair on, but when warm it can turn off an instant. Hmm. Oh, is this a lung pulsing blood? No, that's just turned off. No, it hasn't. It's just rebooted. Or oh, the fan has just gone off at least. Okay, so it's going white. It is going to a white light. So what is up with this? I wonder. And also, why have I put a big ass pile of consoles on top of my um, HDMI cable? Hey, Aid! Thank you for renewing. I'm sure you've been a member before. Thank you. I appreciate it, mate. Right, so we go. We got a white light on this. Oh, it powers on. Um, it says HDMI port okay, but hmm. Oh, there we go. That's got it. All right. So let me just. Switch comes. There we go. 
Turns out CGTV's fucked. <laughs> oh dear, that's funny. Uh, right, so HDMI 2 is the correct input source. And it looks like we have no display. So let me just clean off my HDMI port. So just soak it in IPA. Plug it back in. And is it gonna display for me? Let me just make 100% sure it is on the right input source. It should be HDMI 2, I'm pretty sure it is. Yeah, no display. Okay. Okie dokie. Right. Someone send the car to 400 pounds so we can buy a car that has teeth. <laughs> Prick! That's the only bush he pays attention to. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so we've got no display. And it looks like it's, well, it's either been dropped or it's been really bashed up. So I'm going to need to replace the case. Um, I think it's been dropped, to be fair. I need to replace that case. Now, question number one is, why is that button not working? And I think it's just down to the case, to be honest. Um, so yeah, we can't reuse that case. So literally all I'll do with this is just replace it. Not going to bother trying to fix that. I could probably plastic weld it, but no, nah, I'd rather not. I would rather not. Replace the thermal pasta, yeah. Uh, might have actually took it out from the other side. Um, let's pretend I didn't just try and take the power supply out without unscrewing the rest of it, shall we? Alright, so that hard drive wasn't even plugged in, so it's not going to be the hard drive what's causing no display. <coughs> Alright, it's not going to be the hard drive what's causing no display. So if it was the hard drive, it would very likely load up in safe mode. Um, and if it didn't load in safe mode, then it would likely have a blue light of death. But that hard drive wasn't even connected up, so... Yeah. Okie doke. Tisk tisk.
Thank you, Spy. I appreciate that, mate. I got lucky on that one. On the video I released earlier. Well, on the console for the video I released earlier. Uh, okay. Let's get these torque screws out. God damn it. There's always one. Sorry for your loss. Um, who's lost, mate? Come on, more likes for Phil. <laughs> Cheers, Andrew. Yeah, Andrew, I'm going to need to send you a refund, mate. I don't know if you caught me earlier. I'm going to need to send you that money back. So can you send me your bank details, mate? And I'll get it sent back to you. And then uh, I'll just let you know when I actually get one that's working at the time when I actually have it in my hand. <laughs> uh, or you can just buy one on eBay. Um, really sorry, mate. Right. Okay. Doke. Damn it, might help if I actually took the power supply out. Just two screws with a drill proceeds to do undo, undo ten by hand. Yeah, they're Phillips screws though, so. Okay, okay. Let's just bugger that off. Oh, we got some damage traces. Yay! Thanks, CG. You bastard. <laughs> I'm joking, man. CG, CG's a legend. Uh, right, we've got a bit of a mess on this HDMI port. So. He's just trolling me, isn't he? Little bit of a mess on here. Um, he's after a MacBook, mate. CG trolled hard. Yep. CG trolled hard indeed. <laughs> right. Strip and rebuild. Okay. Strip and rebuild. Let's not faff around here. Uh, I think that's going to be the best thing to do is just to strip and rebuild. Uh, it does, but well, it looks it looks like they're connected, but um. I don't know. Yeah, we've got a fair few missing pads there. Um, so there's a block of pads which are missing. All right. Be time of finding HDMI find the bit in the middle. There's a scrapyard. <laughs> hey, Michael Mage. Hello, Mr. Micromage. How is YouTube life treating you, mate? Someone type in exclamation point micro so we can spam Micromage's channel. Why wait for 40? Let's just go 480.
Cheese illusions. No, I bet it's just not working. Uh, Mr. Michael May, spam your channel, mate. Um, I think you're a moderator, aren't you? Are you? You are now. <laughs> um, yeah, spam your channel, mate, because it's not working. I don't think tags are working. I think he scored earlier. Didn't work. Yeah, it wouldn't surprise me, mate. Stream elements have been playing up for a while. Oh, mate. Let me just grab some uh, cotton swabs. There we go. Yeah, so we've got a nice block of missing pads in the middle. Oh, I've seen worse. The board's a bit dirty. You could do with a good clean. Right. Okay. Do 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 do. Where is my solar sucker? Where is my solar sucker? I don't know. I really do not know. There it is. Got it. Got his ass. He's probably bought it like this. CG can actually micro solder. Probably bought it like this, mate. To be honest. Do 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 do. Yoink. 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 Whoops, lost a diode. Whoops, lost the cap. Whoops, not a bit, not a fuse. Well, didn't want them anyway. Not keen on the look of that fuse either anyway, to be fair. So I'll get a shot of it. Um Just for the head of it. Just for the hell of it. Get rid of all of them as well.
looks rough than my missus at night. Oh, you're mean, George. You're mean. Don't worry, we're going to clean it. We're going to clean it up. We're going to fix it up, it's going to be beautiful by the time we're done. It's going to be B-E-A-U-T-I-F-U-L. <laughs> Remove just everything, because why not? <laughs> Well, I don't know if those diodes are backwards or anything like that, and the fuse didn't look good as well, so... That's why I wasn't really being careful with using the solar sucker. Uh, I could have just used wick, but... Nah, where's the fun in that? Remove and rebuild. When in doubt, give it a clout. There we go. Do 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 do. All right then. Right, Steve B's just posted a link to his channel in chat. If anyone wants to check him out, I highly recommend it. He's a very good technician. And I do genuinely recommend checking him out. I'm good, thanks, Reese. How are you, mate? I'm going to be a Smatter Club member by the time I feel, but hey. <laughs> <laughs> do, 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 do. Do. Yeah, when I eventually send him the PS5 video, uh, PS5 power supply, you'll do a video on it. <laughs> Steve, message me on Discord before 10am tomorrow and I'll send it, mate. Remind me before 10am. You just use me for 1158. Who does? Me? Or do you mean Phil? Cause I've probably got more one five eights in here. <laughs> I've got about hundred and fifty. You stuck in bed five weeks with my back. Oh mate, that sucks, man. Right. I'm just. Smoking my cig. I don't think I've got any 220 microfarad 350 volt caps, would I? This looks a million times cleaner, though. On the plus side, picked up a 16 inch telly and something went still, can't put weight on it. Ouch! Hope you're alright, mate. Nothing worse than back pain. Right, so this is looking a million times better. Let me grab a donor board because I'm going to need some components. So bear with me a minute.
couldn't find a 1200 series bulb within the first five seconds, so I've just got a PS4 Slim instead. Stuffy. Why not? They're all the same components. They are all the same components. Grab a fuse. Drop that there. Might help if I actually had a nozzle on this. Hmm. Now I don't know which way this diode is. Let's have a look on the donor board. Right. I think that's the right way. Right. Um, one second. Turn HDR off. Why is it not in focus for me? One sec, it's not in focus for me. That's better. Uh, 19, 18, 17, 16. Ah, oh, fuck. There goes my diode. No.
Hmm. Don't know which way these diode is now. Okay. Now we'll do. Right, let me just check these diode readings here. Turn off the beeper. Yep, okay, they're reading okay. I'll have to grab another donor board though. <coughs> so I do need another DJ diode for pin 15. Alright, now we'll come back in focus in a second. Okay, let's just check that diode reading. Story checks out. No, this is a PS4, mate. Alright, I need a 0.1 microfarad. 0201 capacitor for here. Whoops. So let's go on the hunt. For a point one microfarad cap. Do 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 do. 
Uh... Not that I actually need the cap. But I'm going to get it anyway. Get off. I think this is an old 402 cap actually. That was a bit blurred for you guys, sorry. I wasn't looking at the microscope. My bad. My bad. I apologise. Adele, how's it going? Is it Adele or Adele? I think that a good clean. Looking better, looking much better. Okay, cool. Do 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 Let's just check, let's put beep mode on. Ow, just fucking st stabbed myself. Let's just check the filters, make sure they're okay. Yep. Let's check in diode mode, turn the beeper off. Good, 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 and Good, okay. Let's check 5 volt line, that's good. Pin 19, that's good. Pin 18, I've already checked, but I checked it again like a dick. Uh, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13. No, that's. that's 13. Yeah, okay, cool. 
Uh, yeah, diode readings are all checking out okay. On this. Uh, that one's a little bit low. Hmm. Might be just like the fact that there's just the fact that there's heat in the board. Hey, Paul Daniels is here. Hello, mate. How are you doing, buddy? Legendary Paul Daniels. Not the magician, but he's a magician with software and MacBooks. Right, it is time to do some trace repair. So I'm going to use some 0.1 millimeter jumper wire I can make stuff disappear what capacitors <laughs> or shorts <laughs> yeah that should be your catchphrase mate I'm not the real Paul Daniels but I'll make shorts disappear <laughs> right let's use a brand new J tip how's that sound And I'll tell you what I'm going to do. While that's burning off whatever crap it comes out of the factory with. Um, where is my knife? I don't know. I do not know where my knife is. Why do I keep losing shit? Why oh why do I keep losing stuff? <coughs> uh, hmm. I only changed a blade on that yesterday. Where is my knife? What did I have it for? I had it for something and now I don't know where I've put it. Uh, <laughs> this is going to suck. I had it for something and now I don't know where I've put it. Ah, oh, it's underneath my keyboard. I dropped my keyboard on top of it. There we go. Cool. Brand spanking new blade. Right. So, I am not a fan of running jumpers that small. So, it's not that it's not possible to do or anything like that. It's just that I'd rather... I'd rather have them a little bit longer because that way then I can secure them better. Uh, actually I only need one jumper don't I? So I'm not a fan of running it to there. I'd rather run it further down. So we've got that to ground. I'm not bothered about that. Uh, that one goes to. I can put, I can, I'm going to run that one to that point, but if I do end up losing that via, it does go to this very far trace here. So let me just make sure that the voice is still good. So that should go to here. Hang on. Or is it that one? Right. Oh, hang on. I'll pick that up then.
Hmm. Hang on a minute. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Damn it, I'm looking at the wrong one. That's pin 14. It's friggin' open line. That's pin 14. That one goes to there. And then that one... Whoops. Sorry, no. That one... That one goes to there. And then that one goes to there. Yeah, so... That's pin 13. Oh, it's pin 13. And then 14 is the next one. Alright, never mind. Got myself a bit confused. How long would it take to do a HDMI port replacement on a PS4? For me, if I'm not filming about half an hour, 25 minutes, something like that. Normally, if I'm not filming about 25 minutes, half an hour. Technically, it is open line, yeah. Right, what is going on with this new tip? Hmm. I think the pads are just a little bit oxidised. Um. Why can't my son phone you? Um, I had to cancel my number because I kept getting harassed at 3 a.m. Um, the best thing to do is to either. I mean, you can WhatsApp that number. The WhatsApp is still active on there. Um, but other than that, the best thing to do is to either. Direct message me on Discord or to email me. Um, that's the best option. Or book it in on the website if you need to book one in. Right, let me run some jumpers. So I'm going to start off by just tinning the other pads I follow photo induction yeah I think he's a funny dude best get to bed no worries illusions have a good one mate right so I'm actually going to start off on the far left. I don't know whether to run these after I've dropped the HDMI port on actually, to be honest. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to because there's a, there's too many missing wire, missing traces to be able to trust that they're all going to actually fall into line. So I think it's probably best to run the jumper wires afterwards, just given how many there is. Just given how many there is. Never go far left. Uh, well, I'm left handed, so. Um, is that Michael a renewal? Middleton became a member. I think that's a renewal. I'll just knock the board, sorry. No, no, Felicio became a member. So I was thinking of going right from the left. And Joe Eccles became a member. Right. Should be starting at the right. Come left handed. 
Thank you to the renewals, I appreciate it. Right. Yeah, so I'm going to solder the port on first. And then I'll run the jumper wires because I just don't trust that many wires to stay in place. Do 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 do. Why am I using this tip? These tips are shit. Why am I using J tips? I don't like J tips. J tips are shit. They're all right for some tasks, but not for these. Not for these. Let's use uh, hmm. What tip do I go for? Go for a chisel, why not? Yep, yeah, Peyton said chisel. Yeah. To do, 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 do. I actually personally prefer um, bevel tips for most jobs. What the hell is going on with the iron? Oh, why do you keep going to sleep? Right, I'm just going to tin this new tip. What are you doing? Why do you keep saying soldering, Emma? Hmm. <coughs> Where is my wick? Where is my wick? What? Why have I lost everything? <laughs> Seriously, since I built that PC, I have lost everything. Cannot find a friggin' thing. Well, genuinely, cannot find a thing. Right. Right. Let's just clean this. I 
I detest drag soldering. <laughs> I like drag soldering. It's a lot easier with a bevel tip though. And drag soldering with a bevel tip once you get it down, but honestly, it's a dream. Really is. Honestly, you can't beat it. Do 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 do. Quite enjoyed port repairs. Now I have a skull. Technically, I mean, oh, we've got a nice bridge there. Technically, you don't need a scope for ports. You can just use the heat and drop method. But you just can't inspect them closely. Yeah, see, you can't really drag solder with these tips. One moment. I'll show you the art of drag soldering when you're using the right tools. Do you see my message? I didn't, mate, no. Why does my iron, this sensor is fucked on this iron. I'll have to have a look at that in a bit. Keep going to sleep. And also, these tips from Amazon don't seem as good as the ones from AliExpress. Like seriously, why am I getting bridges? Yeah, the BC one tip. Yeah, I use a I use a B fifteen normally. Why do you keep? You know what? Fuck you! Don't go to sleep on me. I'll just unplug the sensor. Go fuck yourself! I'll just unplug your sensor. Now go to sleep, dickhead. Now go to sleep, dickhead. Just unplug your sensor. Easy. Now go to sleep, dickhead. Yeah, now you want to work, don't you? Ha! Ha ha! Ha ha ha! Won't go to sleep on me again, will ya? Bitch! Ha ha! Yeah, now you'll let me drag solder. You fucking will stay awake, you bastard. <laughs> Except now I've got to turn my iron off every time I'm not using it. I'll fix it in a bit, don't worry. I will night fill. Ha! <laughs> Have a good night mate if you're leaving. <laughs> There's probably so much stuff behind the sensor to be honest. Let me try turning it off and back around.
Now you made me melt the back of the port, you prick. And that's not cool. It's not enough meltage to justify taking it back off though. To be honest, it's just a little bit of singeing. Not enough to take it off. There's a certain amount of melting that I'll allow. I hate these ports, I hate cleaning these ports, like when the port's actually on I hate cleaning this part, this area. But yeah, there's a certain amount of melted oil there and that's probably within, to, within range. That one's not connected. Thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, eighteen. All right, cool. Right, so we've got a few traces to run now, but first, let me just sort out my ground legs. Seventy five per cent melted. <laughs> yeah. It's going to Lob some solder there. Oh, solder. Surface tension's calling. So get back to work. Add some solder that side and then spin it round and add some this side as well. This side's filthy. But well, I'll clean it later. It's just a little bit of... Actually, no, I'm going to clean it now because I don't want any contaminants in the solder. So I'll clean it now. Is a blue snowball mic any good? Um, for what, mate? For this kind of a stream, no. For gaming, yes. <coughs> uh, for podcasts, yeah, probably. I think Phil would agree with me. With what, mate? A PS4 battery... Is for a PS4, Xbox battery is for an Xbox. Uh, an Xbox doesn't have a battery. Uh, but no, they, they would technically be the same thing if it was uh, a CMOS battery. If, it, if it's a CR2032, they're all the same. What you fixing this time? Uh, this is a PS4 1200 with trace damage. Um, 
A very generous CG decided to troll me when he sent me a trace damage PS4 win on display. As a gift, so I can't be mad. <laughs> now I actually enjoy working on trace damage consoles. To be honest, it's fun. Especially when it works at the end. Might need some more flux there. Hmm. Is that trace exposed? Because if it is, then I'm not gonna panic. Put a bad PS4 HDMI IC. Shut the console down. Um. Most of the time, no. If you've got a shorted five volt, then yes. Um, if you've got a shorted pin 15, it would normally cause a blue light of death. So pin 15 being shorted to ground, that causes blue light of death. Um, if you had a shorted 5 volt on pin 18 then possibly it could cause shutdown issues uh, anything else not normally got one today for a pound Jesus that's a bargain I'd buy that just to have as a spare mic got one where I'm getting graphical errors and sometimes shutting down that would most likely be a bad APU, mate, to be honest. Most likely a bad APU. If you're getting GPU issues and shutdown issues, because ultimately the APU controls everything. It tells everything what to do. And it would shut down if it felt like it was having an issue. But those ground pads are exposed, so I'm not worried about the condition of that. Not too worried at all Auto brightness. Hello, where are you? Do you sell consoles that you buy on eBay? Uh, I do, yeah. Um, you are best to contact me on Discord for that if you're looking to buy consoles. Um, at the moment I've only got Xboxes for sale but I might have a couple of PS4s for sale today um, actually I have got a um, a PS4 FAT running on uh, I think it's firmware version 7 pretty sure it's firmware version 7 uh, but that's obviously going to be a bit more expensive than a standard console because it's um it's exploitable firmware so it's worth more. And I do have a f quite a few Xboxes for sale. Are you working at a charity shop? Nice. I went to a charity shop the other day, I, I needed to find a purple toy for my nan's funeral. Couldn't find one anywhere. Went to a went to a cancer research charity shop, they have one in there. Paid a pound for it myself. Bargain. I ended up buying some socks as well just to help them. And you know what? The socks are actually quite comfortable. So, yeah. 
why thank you i was just about to say then why is that stuck on 300 degrees celsius right where do we need to jump run jumper wires from we need one on pin number is it three or four pin number four first wish i still worked at the tip oh mate i went there today and it reminded me of when i worked there because i used to work at the tip near me um only on an agency for a short period of time but yeah you're right the kind of stuff people used to throw away right, so i'm going to tin that trace there and then it's time to actually run the frigging jumper wires so 0.1 millimeter wire do you sell ps5s um i do but i haven't got any at the minute unfortunately i don't have any at the minute ps5s when they when i end up buying them if i manage to fix them they generally sell really quick At the minute though, I have tightened up on funds because I spent a lot of money building a new PC recently. So I've had to tighten my belt a little bit. God damn it. That's got a nice solid connection there. Break that away. Costly living crisis is going to get pretty bad. Yeah. Yeah, for a lot of people, it's going to be tough times ahead. Sixty gig PS3. Uh, no, this isn't a PS3. It's a PS4. Uh, right, which one is next? I think it's somewhere towards pin ten or pin eleven or twelve. Um, right, which pin is that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, that's ground, don't care. 12, pin number 13, okay. Yep, pin number 11 is, is a ground point, so I'm not bothered. Sixty-nine gig a day. People are just realising I put 6, 0.69 volts on the, multi, on the bench supply. Did no one realise that? Nice spot, mate. Well done. You know what you win for that? Nothing. <laughs> Sorry, mate. <laughs> oh, dear. Right. Damn it. 
Tell me. Oi, sit with your pin. Nice solid connection. Boom, boom, boom. Pin number 14 is not important because it is not connected to anything. So we're going to ignore the next one. Ow! Wow! I burnt my finger with the iron. So pin number fifteen then is going to be next. That I believe goes to this bottom diode. Is it the bottom one or is it the top one? I can't remember. Let's trace it. Right, which one do you go to? Ah, it's this one. Okay. Let's try and keep as close to an original route as we can. Rather than twisting wires everywhere Do, 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 do. It's just had a blob of solder. There we go. Pin 16. I'm 
gonna go straight down there. If you did sell PS5 consoles, how much would you sell them for? Um, generally, I would go for what they're going for on eBay. Um, and well, it depends on, like you said, it depends on what they come come with. Um, the reason for that is because I don't add accessories. I just sell them. Like if they come with a the controller, they get sold with a controller, basically. You know, if I buy them with a controller, I sell them with a controller. Um, if I buy them without a controller, I sell them without a controller. Like, I won't go out and buy accessories just to sell them sort of thing. So it, it just really depends on what's with it and what they're going for, uh, what the going rate is on eBay. Um, and then if, oh shit. And then if I'm selling one privately, you know, without the eBay fees, I normally knock a little bit off. Uh, so I generally knock the eBay fees off what I would normally get charged. Um, and then do a deal from there, basically. So if I would if I would have normally sold something for £300, I would sell it for £275, if that makes sense. But it's hard to say because, you know, you have to go on going rates at a time. I don't know what the going rate is at the minute. I haven't looked. Basically, what I normally do is I take the last 10 or 20 soul items and then add them all up and then average it out. But the last PS5 disc edition that I sold, I sold for, I think it was £400, which was actually way less than what they're going for on eBay. It just depend. It depends as well what I pay for them. Like that's another factor. Like if I if I end up, I don't mind being break even as long as I don't lose money. So it also depends on whether I'm doing a video on it and how successful the video is. Right. Pin number 18 next, that's going to go straight to this fuse. And then I think we're done. Look, I would rather, like, if I was going to lose money, I would rather just keep it. Like, I know that sounds silly. Um, if I was going to lose, I don't mind not making money. Like if I overpay for something and I end up not paying, not making money, that's fine by me. Um, you know, as long as I don't lose money. But sometimes you just do have to take a loss. But occasionally you have to take a loss on something. You know, if you buy something, and you make a bad decision on what you pay for it—a bad business decision. Um, eBay prices for faulty stuff are silly, which is why I'm avoiding buying at the minute, mate. Yeah. No, I didn't mind a couple of months ago, but then I've had to shell out, well, eleven hundred out of my own pocket for uh, this new PC. Uh, you guys helped massively, but I still had to shell out £1,100 myself. God damn it. I hate these end jumper wires, the last two. Yeah, sometimes you have to just cut your losses and take a loss. It's just part of business. Business 101. Sometimes cut your losses. 
Right, that's nice and solid on there. Thought there were two what, mate? What, two more jumper wires? Um, shouldn't be. Uh, that is not a solid connection. It's because you're left handed. It is. It is because I'm left handed, yeah. You are absolutely right. Ow. You son of a bitch. Um. So yeah, part of business sometimes just take a loss, cut your losses and move on. Uh, see, there's not a single successful business in the world who will base their profits on one item, one purchase, one transaction. Like anyone who's basing their profits off one transaction is doing it wrong. You base your profit, you base your your business, and whether it's successful or not, and whether you're in profit or not, based on quarterly, annually, whatever. You don't base it on, even monthly. Like you could go month to month, but you don't do it transaction to transaction. That's just not the way businesses work. Like so, sometimes you'll take a loss on one, but you'll win on another, and it just balances out. And as long as you're in profit at the end of the year, it doesn't really matter. I mean, it matters because it all messes up your bottom line, but it doesn't matter so much if you take a loss on the odd thing. You know, if you if you're buying enough or you do, you're trading enough volume, then you know you can take a loss here and there and still be okay. Globally slave labour? No, it's not, dude. Don't talk about that shit on this stream. Sorry. But no, don't talk about that shit on this stream. This is not a political channel and we are not interested. Sorry, but no. We do not talk about politics and controversial topics like that. Because that is the kind of shit that gets me banned off YouTube. And that is what I'm not going to allow. Sorry, dude. Those be the rules. Alright, let's add some Nope, that's not that's not clean and dry. That is not clean and dry. Do, 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 do. So I want to put some conformal coating on this, but it's got to be clean, because otherwise the conformal coating is not going to stick or solder mask rather. A lot of businesses calculate the losses into the price of products. Yeah, it's like it's like a repair business will cal calculate um, warranty jobs into products, into the uh, cost of the repairs. It's that's what I mean. You d you don't just determine it based on you know one single transaction. You like oh shit, I've lost money. Like <coughs> I don't like to lose money. Sometimes I will just for the sake of. Um, bringing back some money um, if I've got you know three four five thousand pound tied up in consoles that I've bought to make videos on and then haven't sold I've got to sell them before I can start buying more and 
you know you, you can't have too much money tied up in assets sort of thing especially as a, you know like a, a small business but you need to see some returns I'm in a fortunate position where I'm okay I can you know I can buy stuff I can buy stuff on eBay or whatever and if I don't sell it straight away it's not going to affect my personal finances because you know I obviously you know you allocate certain funds to certain things um, so I'm in a fortunate position but if you're just starting out you have to well a lot of people what they tend to do and this is what I did I basically when I started out I was buying one thing fixing it selling it buying something else fixing it selling it and then eventually you got to a point where I could buy you know several things at a time and and whatnot but because I've got income from other sources such as YouTube and things you know I'm in a position where I don't have to worry about that anymore you know if I'm buying something it's because I can afford to sit on it or I can afford to lose it still with dead capital all stock and spare parts like Dynaboard the dead capital that is very true that is absolutely true yeah um, so I mean I've probably got several thousand pound just in like Dimmy just said dead capital like you know um, donor parts, disk drives, hard drives um, donor motherboard, cases, power supplies that sort of stuff you know you just because you've not been able to fix it you know you, you've got that you've got that there you know I've made let's say for example some of the PS5s I've bought and I haven't been able to fix I've spent like you know £200 on the PS5 and I've made um, you know like £150 by using the power supply out of it I've made another £120 by using the um, south bridge off it you know it it brings itself back eventually if you're doing it full time it brings itself back built it up from fuck all yeah exactly mate yeah you just gotta keep going that's that's the thing just have to keep going right i'm about to use a very bright light so if you're epileptic please look away for a minute in five four three two one it's not a bright light it's a uv light but i don't want to cause any seizures so yeah So I'm just curing this solder mask and that's going to strengthen it and keep it nice and insulated, protected from the elements. You can buy with PayPal on eBay, but PayPal do something called eBay Managed Payments, which is where basically they manage the payments on the seller's behalf and then they transfer it to your bank. Um, in my opinion that is a monopoly because you you can't accept PayPal directly anymore PayPal and eBay are falling out PayPal sleeping on the sofa blah 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 that sort of stuff um, <laughs> yeah right bit of hot air with this just to help cure it. And there we go. And now that is nice and protected. So we've still got one pad there missing that's not connected to anything on the board pin 14 it's an unused pad and pin 11 which is this one here is ground so I'm not bothered um, <coughs> so the reason I say that's pin 11 even though technically it's not if you go from left to right pin number one starts here so you've got one two three four five six seven eight nine ten 11 um, pin number 11 on the HDMI port is ground 
And then you've got 12, which is um, a differential pair. 13 goes to a diode on the back. 14 is not connected. 15 going to here. 16 going to here. 17 is ground. 18 goes to the 5 volt line. And then 19 goes to HDMI return. But 19 is soldered. Cool. Do I play games? Um, I don't really get the time, to be honest. The, th the thing with me is I've got... Obviously, you know, I, I do repairs. I'm on a YouTube channel. Uh, I've also got a family. And I just don't get much free time. And when I do, I'm trying to catch up on sleep because I don't sleep much. I do occasionally stream on Twitch when I'm playing games. Sometimes. That is a thing. Uh, right, let's get this back together uh, so yeah I do occasionally play games I might start playing them again I have got an Xbox Series X um, which I actually bought on oh shit I just nearly knocked my IPA over um, I actually bought an Xbox Series X on eBay and I ended up keeping it for myself the first ever Series X I've bought alright let me just grab a bit of IPA I should start playing games again Clean out this HDMI port. Best game I've played on. Um, I'm not really a massive gamer. I like Call of Duty. Um, I like racing games. Uh, that's pretty much it, to be honest. But I'm not a massive gamer. Right, let's just get rid of this thermal pasta. Do 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 Oh I've got coffee. Right then. So let's get rid of the thermal pasta from this side. Do, 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 do. There we go. Right, what does the heat sink look like? Heat sink looks clean. Cool. All righty. Now where is my thermal paste? Where is my thermal paste? Not a clue. Not a clue. Can't be asked to look for it. No worries. Uh, have a good night, uh, Adele or Adele. Um, sorry if I pronounced it wrong. Thank you for hanging out. I appreciate it. Don't know where my thermal pasta is, so. Just open a new tube. Why not? Oh, that is nowhere near enough. What am I doing? Put a little bit more on at least. 
Right then, let's have a look, shall we? What man? How's it going? If you had a brain, you'd be dangerous. Yep. Yep. I have got one, it's just not very active. <laughs> hey, Mr. Nick. Slacking as usual, my friend. What are you doing? Right then. Let's get it all. How's it going, Mr. Nick? Mr. Nicky Nick Nick Nickers. Dust diving, oily savoy. <laughs> How's it going, dude? With a Nick. Nah, party whack. Give it all a bone. Yeah, I turned them off on this scene. Partaking in the slacking, what else would I do? Very nice, my friend. Very, very nice. In the words of Boris Johnson, very good, very nice. <laughs> very good, very nice. It's nice to meet you. Very good, very nice. It's cozy. It's cozy. Boris the Mop Johnson. Bobblehead Boris. Someone send this stream to Boris. Very good, very nice. I don't vote. But I might do on the next election just to assist in fucking that idiot off. But anyway, that's enough. That's enough politics. Politics are boring. Politics are too controversial. But I'm sure we can all agree that Boris is a bobblehead moron. Very good, very nice. It's nice to meet you. It's cozy. Alright then, where has this gone? There it is. Okay, with two hours of sniper elite. <laughs> Title for the video. He's supposed to be a friend, but instead he sent he sent me this. Ha <laughs> In the words of Cleveland. <laughs> I can't really define it as German troll, I would be a bit racist, my friend. I cannot put German troll in the title. Alright then, let's have a look, shall we? Very good, very nice. It's not racist, it's factual. Yeah, but it's the definition. It's defining him as German troll. You can't do it. You can't. You just can't. No. You just can't. It just wasn't frozen in the right place. <laughs> yeah, I've watched a few painful videos. <laughs> Vince is cool, though. Vince is awesome, man. If it wasn't for Vince, I wouldn't be where I am today. Genuinely, I wouldn't. Really wouldn't. That dude helped me out so much in the beginning. 
Like in terms of YouTube, I mean. Very good, very nice. Alright then. Let's have a look, shall we? Very good, very nice. We are the champions, so we. Do I fix Brutus? Uh, no. Johnny Five is alive. Right. It's a win. It's a win. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Don't know where my controller is though. Do da, do da. So I can't test it for all day. Oh, do do da day. Hey, do 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 da day. Hey, do 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 da day. Hey. Let's get a goddamn controller. Do da, do da. Very good, very nice. Sink. A. No. Do not update. System info. Ah, it's on 9.51. Meh. Alright, well. That will do me. Now I need to find the region info so I can change it. I don't know where the region is. Oh well. I'll just completely wipe it. There we go. Boom. That's a win. Uh, so it's a 9.51. But yeah. That's a winner winner. Chicken dinner. <clears throat> if shipping wasn't so bad I'd buy it. <laughs> yeah. It's a win either way. Yeah, so turns out that the HDMI port wasn't soldered properly. And uh, yeah, nice trace repair, nice and relaxing. And we win. We win. Right. So. Just quickly put this back together. What size are your trace repair wires? I use 0.1 millimeter for that one. I've had this reel of trace wire for a very, very long time, about three years. But I don't use the 0.1 mil that often. Um, I usually use my own trace wire which I manage to source from microwaves as a general rule but couldn't be asked to look for it well I know where it is I just couldn't be asked to get it it's actually right here and I have a lifetime supply of it I bet I've still got this one on 50 I'm 33 years old now and I bet I've still got that real one on 50 unless I lose it just use wire for a speaker or motor if you don't have any. Yeah, you can, yeah. You can indeed. Um, I use a uh, that big reel that you've just seen. That's, um, well, that's not a big reel. But um, that's out of a microwave fan. That's a big reel. That is a big reel. That's 0 0.067 human hair strand, uh, human hair width. Or diameter, and that is a big ass reel. Why I bought that much? Because it was a tenner for a tiny reel, or twenty quid for that. 
Well, 0.1 millimetre work for every time a trip trace. Uh, it should do, yes. It should do, mate. I never even checked to see if I had a free disc in there, did I? No. I think some of the screws were missing to this, but I need to source a case for it anyway. Micro transformers, yeah. The transformers might be a little bit thick. Um, it's probably best to get it from the little side fan. I've actually got a video on the channel about it. Um, just that's a scrap man. Just that's a scrap man. If you if you if you know a scrap man or you got a scrap man who comes around regularly, just get him to get one out for you. Just offer them a five for free or something, and you've got yourself a lifetime supply of trace wire. Any find the new PC? Oh, it's running great, mate! Absolutely fantastic. No issues so far with it. How long have I been live? I've been live for uh, four, just going on four there was. CPU temps 43.5 degrees Celsius Oh I'm wrong No that's not That's not the right there they are. All right then. Seventy point eight. I was going to say that's a bit low. Um, Seventy point eight degrees Celsius on the package, and I've been I've been live streaming for four hours. Um, so yeah, running absolutely sweet. Um. Yeah, barely even touching the GPU. That's running at 50 degrees Celsius. Um, memory, we barely barely touching that. 10 gig out of 32. And CPU, we're using literally nothing. Yeah, running sweet. Is this the last repair? I'm going to have a look at one more. Um, just see what the issue is. If it's a blue light of death, I'm not doing it tonight. Uh, so CG sent me two. Uh, well, he's actually sent me more than two, but he sent two in this package. Uh, so I'm going to have a look. Um, but I might end up doing it tomorrow. As a video. But um, in terms of this one, actually, I better put a couple of screws in here. Um, 
Yeah, in terms of this one, I'll find a case out for it tomorrow and then I'm going to sell it. Need to give it a full test as well. Is this it or another one incoming? Um, no, this is this isn't it. Well, I'm going to have a look at one. It is getting late. I haven't eaten, so I'm going to see what's wrong with this other one that CG gave me. Um, if it if it's somewhere that's going to take me more than like half an hour, then I'm going to do a video on it instead. Total cost of the new streaming PC. It was about sixteen hundred pound. Um, if you think of actual, like actual cost, if you don't think of it as what I paid, um, because some of it I traded some stuff in at CEX, like the C, well the CPU, I traded CEX and I ended up only paying 160 pound cash for the CPU, but the the console as a whole was uh not console the cpu as a whole was 420 but i i got obviously i got that massively discounted just because of the fact that i um just because i just because i took some stuff to cex do not sell my ps4 why do you why do you want to buy it gonna get off and take it easy cheers Reese. thanks thanks for hanging out buddy old case fans work too, that'd be very true, yeah. Or even like a PS4 fan or something like that. Yeah, I need to find a case for this, this one's a little bit... Actually no, that one's, that one was just me. Uh, the top's fine. Not too bad for the specs of it. It's a high-end PC, yeah. So I need a base for this. I'll find that out tomorrow. But yeah. The top's fine. Just gonna need a base though. But yeah, happy days on that. It's a win, and I'll take it. Another one bites the dust. All right, let me just tidy up a little bit. Here's an idea for you guys. If anyone's got an IKEA desk, nice easy little mod that you can do for your desk. So while well, there's a fair few people here, um, nice little mod that you can do for your desk if you've got an IKEA desk is get yourself a modular faceplate and then check this out. Here I've got a modular faceplate with a couple of HDMI cables. A couple of HDMI sockets. One's going to this monitor that's just here, and one is going to there. So you can see that cable going there. That goes to my capture card. Um, then I've got a Cat6 cable and a USB C port going to an extension cable. Um, the reason I say IKEA desk is because they've got a honeycomb cardboard thing inside, they're not solid wood, so they're easy to cut, cut a hole in it. Um, I need to cut a hole in it and then screw one of these plates onto it. Honestly, it makes it so much tidier. So much tidier. Because I can just get my hand meter and just boom. But then if I want to plug something in, like, like I've got some shorter cables on the way. If I want to plug something in, like let's say I want to charge my phone. Straight in. And then get my phone super fast charging baby let's go well now it's saying fast charging for some reason
Yeah, buddy. I was only joking. Yeah, it's all good. Um, but yeah, that's a nice little mod. I've got to wire up the Cat6 cable, so I've got to crimp a Cat6 Ethernet to it. And I'm going to get another one for this side. Um, so this side, I'm going to put some like multimeter probes and crap like that on it. I'm going to make my own modular cables. But then you can just literally unplug it, and you've always got that source there then. So I've got some shorter USB-C cables on the way. Um, and yeah, it's going to be so much better to use. I'm gonna get I'm gonna get some more and I'm gonna put them as like um, something that I can use to wire up to the bench power supply so as I haven't got to keep unplugging the bench power supply to change cables uh, something like a DC jack or something like that and then wire that directly to the power supply nice cat uh, what do you mean my cat Nice to see you have the love of your life on your lock screen. That is not the love of my life, that is my mother. Um, if you mean the woman, uh, where is the lock screen? That, oh, that, that's that's my cat, and then that's my mom. Or was my mom. Constant reminder. <coughs> nice pussy. <laughs> yeah. The home screen is my mom, and then the cat is obviously my cat. Uh, I'll keep telling Sarah she's my kitty. Sarah keeps saying she's hers. Nope, she's mine. If we split up, she comes with me. But uh, yeah, let's have a look at this one quickly. Cherish every single moment with your mum, uh, Greta. Every single moment, mate. Right. This is another one from the troll that is CG. CG is a massive troll. He sent me a PS4, well he sent me two, and the first one had a lot of trace damage. He did, I think he did it just to punish me. I think he did it just to punish me. So let's see what's wrong with this one. Ah. That one's a two second blot. And that one is an APU blot. Yeah. Okay, well, never mind. Not going to be doing that one. Not going to be doing that one tonight. Nope. I'm going to go and have something to eat instead. Because that's a two second APU blood. That's going to need a reball. And if it's 25 years, nice. It's a milker still doing all right. Yep. Yep, it's running. I haven't sold it yet. I haven't got around to selling it yet. What made me decide to pursue a hobby and career in electronics repair? To start with money, to be honest with you, mate. Um, but I've always enjoyed working on electronics anyway. I've always enjoyed messing around with electronics. Uh, but to start with, it was because I was absolutely flat broke. I already had a soldering iron and I decided to just learn to be able to pay bills. Um, and then it just turned into a career. And I always wanted to do YouTube, to do YouTube anyway, so it just kind of tied in with that. Well, I was already on YouTube. I was doing um, like small tutorials, programming tutorials, and stuff like that. But uh, yeah, right then. Um, don't know if I'm going to stream tomorrow night. Uh, I'll probably do this one for a video. Um, you know, I might have it as a video for tomorrow night. Because uh, that's going to need a reball. So, yeah, a little bit late in the day for that. 
Um, and I haven't really got anything else to do at the minute. Uh, not anything that's quick anyway. Um, so, yeah, a bit of a shame on the PS5. I will have another look at it at some point in the very near future. But, other than that, um, I don't know what's coming in this week. I didn't get a delivery last week from Console Repair London uh, because he's been sick. He's been off sick, so... Uh, I know he's sending at least, I think he's got at least 10 for me. So it should be some fairly decent jobs coming in. Hopefully. He's coming up towards the end of the month as well. So hopefully he's uh, got some decent jobs for me. But yeah. Thank you all for hanging out guys and girls. I really, really appreciate it as always. Uh, thank you for the support, donations, subscribers, Twitch subscribers. All of that Gucci stuff. This stream should redirect to Computer Booter's stream as long as he's still live. If you're on YouTube. Um, I'm going to find someone to host on Twitch. Who's on Twitch? Computer Booter's on Twitch. I completely entitled. So let's raid Computer Booter on Twitch. So, Twitch viewers, I'm going to, I'm going to raid you over to... Computer booter. So, thank you all. I really appreciate you hanging out. Uh, right. YouTube, it should push you over to your computer booter on YouTube. Thank you all. Genuinely appreciate it. Have a good night, everyone, and I'll catch you all in the next one.